Hello and welcome to SAS Junior Maths. Today we are going to be looking at interior angles on a transversal. In our last video, we looked at alternate interior and exterior angles. And um, for those that uh, that missed the video, you can always check that in the description below. So today. We are going to be looking at interior angles on a transversal. Let's not forget that a transversal line is that line that cuts a pair of parallel lines or two or more parallel lines. Now, from this, as you can see, that the angles here, three, the four, five C's, are interior, that is, they are inside. And this line that cuts is a transversal. If you can notice that this transversal line has divided the angles into two parts. So we have the side A and we have the side B. So these angles on side A, 3 and 5, they are interior angles on a transversal because this transversal has, um, has succeeded in what? In dividing this into two parts side A and side B. So the angles surrounding side A and the angles surrounding side B are what we are going to be looking at today. So now it is now telling us now that the angles on side A are supplementary, meaning that the sum of interior angles on a transversal, the sum of interior angles on on one side of a transversal, let me be specific here, the sum of interior angles on one side of a transversal is supplementary. So in this case, you can say angle 3 plus angle 5 equals 180 degrees, which is on side A. Then by side A. Then on side B, and we say angle 4 plus angle 6 equals 180 degrees. Let me take that again. So the sum of angles, the sum of interior angles on one side of a transversal equals 180, or we can say it is supplementary. So I haven't done that. So let's quickly look at um, the question here. The question 1 says that we should find the value of n. And as you can see, this is 100 and this is N. But from what I've defined, from what I've explained on or earlier, I said that two angles on the same side of a transversal, this is a transversal line that cuts. So two angles on the same side of a transversal equals 180 or it is supplementary. So I've known that I can as well say that 100 plus n, 100 degrees plus n equals 180 degrees. Reason, angles or interior angles on a transversal. So from here, to get the value of my n, I will have to subtract both sides by, one, by 100. So I will say 100 degrees or, or let, me just, let me just say n equals 180 minus 100 degrees. As, let's not forget that this 100 is carrying, is carrying a positive 100 degrees. So once it passes through the equality sign, it changes to negative. So as I can also say n equals 80 degrees. So n here is what? 80 degrees. And that ends the question there. So let's move on to the next question. The next question may look like, um, it may be kind of um, tricky, but we just need to understand some things here. The question says, what is the value of M? What is the value of M? This, the whole of this M here is what we are asked to find. So at times in math, the solution to a problem may be hidden in such a way that there are some things you just need to do in order to open your eyes or in order to see 
what you are about to do. So from this context, the way at which we can do it is if we can try as much as possible to split these angles, to split it into two different angles in such a way that this M, you know, it represents the whole angle, but in such a way that I can, I can split it to like this is A and B. So if I want to withdraw, I can just draw it this way. degrees 30 degrees so now I can say I can as well say this is what a and B because I've succeeded in, in splitting this line so from here what do we do the next thing we can do or we need to do here is just we know that since I've split this line then I can as well say that a this I will say that this is an interior, these two angles are interior angles on a transversal. Please let's not forget that this is an angle and this is another angle. And if I should draw this angle out like this, as in I, I'm just, I tried cutting this out. If you observe, you will see that this is an angle and this is another angle on a transversal. So we are going to, we are going to say, assume that this is our what? Transversal line so as you can see it goes in line with it so i can as well say that to get the value of my b i'll say b plus 30 degrees equals 180 degrees reason interior angles on a transversal or you can say angles on a transversal so my b equals 180 degrees minus 30 degrees and my B is 150 degrees. So I can say this is my 150 degrees. Likewise, my A, if I want to get the value of my A, I also know that there are now, you know, I've, I've given an imaginary line. So let me just say something now. If you are giving questions like this, please and please, and you want to start solving, in this kind of situation, the first thing you should do is to draw an imaginary line to divide this into two different parts. Draw an imaginary line. In fact, in some situations, you can also extend this line across and also this line or oh, like that. So now let's quickly look at the value of this A. So for this A, we say I can say that 40 degrees plus A equals 180 degrees. Reason material angles on a transversal just like the previous ones then i to find the value of my a i will say a equals 180 degrees minus 40 degrees and my a equals what 140 degrees so 140 degrees is here so as you can see but the question is now asking us to find the value of my m and the value of m is m equals a plus B. Let's not forget that from the, the, the original question is M. And I split it and we divided it into A and B. So our M equals A plus because the question says find the value of our M, just this side. So our M is now going to be, what is my A? My A is 140 degrees plus my B, 150 degrees. And if I add them together, I will have 290 degrees as my answer so that is that for that now there, there's something i would like to say what i would like to say is that there are two other methods you can also use in solving this but by god's grace in my next video we are going to explore all different methods that we, that can be used to in solving questions like this let's not forget that it's due to the fact that we are dealing with um we are looking at interior angles on the transversal. That is why I limited this method to be that of the interior angles on A transversal. But in my next video, by God's grace, I will make sure I elaborate more by exploring on all the angles we've learned so far. So I hope um, you understand this. See you soon in my next video. Thank you.